Welcome back guys to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Excited to be back tonight and we're going to continue talking about Scream 6. The countdown's on guys. We got 21 days left. Two Fridays to go and we're going to be watching Scream 6 in the theaters. Very excited. I can't believe we're getting a Scream 6. It's so unreal to me. <laughs> when we got Scream last year, I was very surprised, you know, like it's just cool that Radio Silence and all the people behind the screen movies have brought back the movies and just cool they want to continue the legacy of Wes Craven and Kevin Williamson but anyways let's continue talking about Scream 6 for a minute I kind of just want to take this time tonight just just kind of talk about it and just kind of ask you guys as people who watch these videos uh you know what are you most excited to see in Scream 6 you know what are you looking forward to the most I know for me watching, you know, people always ask me, why do you like the Scream movies so much? What's so important about them? What's so fun about them? You know, um, well, for me personally, it's the it's the mystery, right? It's there because really they're like a they're a mystery slasher or mystery, mystery slasher scary movie, right? Like you're trying to figure out who's doing the killings, who is who's behind the mask, right? And that's what I think what makes Scream fun for me personally. Now I get it, scary movies, these kind of movies, they're not for everybody. You know, they're <laughs> they're they're not for everyone, right? So, but for me, I know that, you know, trying to guess who is the killer, right? Who's behind the mask, who, who's doing everything. That's what makes Scream fun. And, and I think that's why I enjoy the movie so much as much as I do. I don't have this super like, huge thing for the the costume and you know, like Ghostface is cool and all that right but i like the the mystery behind everything well that's what i'm most excited for in scream 6 that's what i look forward to every movie is who's behind the mask and that's kind of what i'm looking forward to the most in this movie because i think in this movie there's only going to be two killers but they could prove me wrong and be three um i think that they're going to do a lot different this time around i know they already talked about how they want to go in a different direction this time around with Scream and do stuff that's never been done before. And I think that's good. You know, we need something fresh for the franchise. We need to keep it going, right? If they're gonna make a Scream 7, if they're gonna make a Scream 8, if they're gonna make a 9, a 10, a 11, whatever, they gotta somehow keep it fresh, somehow keep it, you know, real and, and different. You know, they can't just continue the pick up the phone call, run into the house, you know, chase somebody down and then go to the next scene, right? They have to do something different to keep this franchise going don't lose the roots of what scream is as a movie but make sure that you kind of put a little bit of a different twist on it to a point where you're like "Ooh, this is still interesting right i don't know for me like i don't think there's a number behind the scream movies where i'm like i think even if there was like scream 20 in the future right i think i would still go watch it like because the thing is about ghostface is you can always have somebody behind the mask there can always be a different killer right these movies can go on forever. I mean, it's not like um, it's not like Jason Voorhees where there's only one Jason Voorhees. Like anybody can be behind the ghost face mask, right? And that's what makes Scream fun, right? But there does come a point where you kind of have to go in a different direction where maybe change up the look a little bit. Like they're doing Scream 6, right? You kind of got the age mask. Um, maybe take it to a different location like they're doing again, right? They're taking it to New York City. Scream 3 was in Hollywood. Like... Uh, Scream 2 was in a college like they got to continue these things where you got to continue putting it in different settings and putting it in different locations where it's fresh it's new right you can't just have Ghostface call somebody in their home break in and then you know now don't get me wrong like that is that is petrifying <laughs> that is one of the scariest things in life for me one of the scariest things in life is somebody in a mask trying to chase you down and kill you like that's that's terrifying right you know monsters you know scary paranormal movies they don't scare me like okay some of them can be kind of creepy but like scream is it could, it's real right like it could really happen like these now there's some things in these movies where it's like okay you know uh there's some things where you're like okay that's hollywood it's a movie Th this could really happen right someone could throw on a ghost face mask and go and do a killing spree like it's it's terrifying <laughs> and this is one of the things that we deal with in real life right but 
yeah so i just wanted to kind of just give my thoughts i'm excited for scream 6 um but i want to ask you guys you know what are you most excited for about scream 6 what are you least excited for who do you think the killers are going to be this time around do you think that they're going in a right direction with the movie especially being set in new york um you know we haven't seen ghostface in the big city so this is going to be interesting right so yeah, but anyways, guys, I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts tonight uh, with the countdowns on. We're 21 days out, two Fridays away, and I can't wait. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, like the video and subscribe to the channel. You guys have been so amazing with subscribing to the channel. We just, we cannot be more thankful to you guys here at All Things Nerd for the way you've been treating us. Like, you guys are so cool. <laughs> you've given us so much love here, so many subscriptions views i mean our channel's been doing so well for such a small channel over the past few weeks and uh coming on and off to youtube uh it's just been the love's been awesome and we really appreciate you guys um the scream six giveaway did really well um there was a winner we have contacted the winner he already received his ticket so that was really cool i know that coming up we got the super mario movie coming out in april so that'd be cool to do a giveaway then so keep look out for in a couple weeks when we do that next giveaway but as always guys my name is nathan and i'll see you in the next video take care